Before we start the questions, there are three simple steps that you need to be able to answer the questions. The first step is labelling the sides. Now this is a skill you must have, as if you get this part incorrect, the rest of the question you produce may give you an incorrect answer. If you're unsure how to do this, watch one of my other videos which demonstrates how to do this in detail. The second step is Sokotoa. I always write this out with these kinds of questions and then decide which one of them I need. Thirdly, work it out. You'll have all the info at this point. It's then just a case of substituting and working it out. The first question, it says find the missing length x. We have three bits of information, which is 25 centimeters, x and 52 degrees. There are three pieces we need to answer the question. We also know it's a right angle triangle as it's got the right angle here. In the top right hand corner, we've got the step by step guide of how to answer the question. So the first step, it says to label the sides. I always like to start by labeling the hypotenuse. We've got the hypotenuse here as it's the longest side and it's facing the right angle. The next side I like to do the opposite side as it's opposite the given angle. And finally, the adjacent side as it's the last remaining side and adjacent to the given angle, but also not the longest side. We've now labeled the sides, we can give that a nice little tick. We'll move on to step two, Sokotoa. Now I always write Sokotoa like this. So so ka toa Up and down, up and down. Again, I explain in a previous video on why to do this. So let's find out which of these we need. We need to find the hypotenuse and we have information on the opposite side. So we have the opposite and the hypotenuse, therefore we're going to be using so. We now need to work it out. Firstly, we need to get an equation. So as we need the hypotenuse side, I'm firstly going to write hypotenuse equals. So we'll get the hypotenuse and that equals the opposite over the sine of the angle, or sine theta. Now we've got the equation, we need to substitute our values into it. The hypotenuse is x, opposite is 25, all over sine of the angle, so sine of 52. Now I've put this in bracket as this will make more sense when you enter in it into your calculator. So let's enter it into our calculator. We're then left with x equals 31.725455 and it could go on and on but we want to round it. Now in this question it hasn't actually given us um, an amount to round it to, it's not said whether to round it to so many decimal places or so many significant figures. So as an automatic, I will generally round to two significant figures. Now in the exam, double check at the front of your paper where you should round it to. Uh, usually it will ask you to round it to two decimal places when it doesn't tell you. So for this one, we've got x equals 31.73 and then centimetres. Make sure you write those units in at the end. So we have a final answer of 31.73 centimetres. Now our second question here looks a little bit different. We've got a bit of information here which looks slightly different from the last one. The triangle is at, it has been rotated a little bit so it may disorientate you initially but don't worry about it. It will be just fine. It works as any other of these questions. We know it's a right angle because we've got this right angle here. We have three pieces of information. The angle we're trying to find, the given angle, and finally, the given side. The information at the top here saying ABC is a triangle. So ABC is a triangle. Angle CAB is 84 degrees. Now how to read this is CAB. So this angle you can see here is the one in the middle, so it will be this particular angle because C, A, B and that angle in the centre. It's a nice little tip to look at that letter in the middle. So this information is literally just saying what we can already see, but it's just stating it for us. So let's use a step-by-step -step guide. I've not got it on screen this time, so we're going to have to try and memorise it. So our first step is to label the side. I always like to write the hypotenuse first. It's my fault of habit. It's the longest side, so it's easiest, and it's also looking at the right angle. The next side is the opposite, which is this side as it's opposite the given angle. And the final side is the adjacent as it's adjacent to the given angle, but also not the hypotenuse. 
Our second step is let's write down Sokotoa. So so ka toa Again, I'm writing it up and down. This is to make it easier when we're writing the equations. We need to know which of those three sets we want to use. Well, we need to find the adjacent and we have information on the hypotenuse. So A and H is cos. So we'll be using ka. So we've dealt with Sokotoa. We now need to work it out. But before we work it out, we need an equation. So we'll use our triangle. Well, we need to find the adjacent here. So we'll put adjacent equals, and then we've got cos of the angle multiplied by the hypotenuse. We'll substitute in the values now. A is x, the angle is 84, multiplied by the hypotenuse, which is 17. Enter this into our calculator now. And we get a value of 1.776938, etc., etc. Now, again, because it's not stated how many decimal places or significant figures to round to, we're just going to assume that it's going to be two, two decimal places. Again, check the front of the exam paper. So if we're rounding this, it's going to be x equals 1.78 kilometers. Remembering those units, really important. You can lose marks without it. And there's our final answer. Just to double check, let's see, find the missing length x. x equals 1.78 kilometers. That looks about right. I'm happy with that answer. And that's it, we've done that question. Last but not least, we have the exam style question. Now this is a high level question. You're likely to see this at the end of a foundation paper or midway through a higher paper. Our question says, the diagram shows quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So just to highlight this, so it's A, B, C, D. So there's our quadrilateral. A, B is 16 centimeters. So A, B is 16 centimeters. A, D is 12 centimeters. Angle B, C, D is 40 degrees. Angle ADB equals angle CBD, which equals 90 degrees, also denoted by these two here. Calculate the length of CD. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. So this is quite a big question. If we just focus on this triangle, as it's a right angle triangle, we've got an angle of 40 degrees. We want to find this length, CD, but we've got no measurements to go on uh, in terms of sides. So we need at least one bit of information or one side to be able to work this out. Now we can't find anything from this side, but we should be able to find something for this side because we have another triangle right here, another right angle triangle, which is quite handy for us. You might be able to tell it's gonna be a two step problem. So let's have a look at this triangle ABD. So A, B, D. We've got this triangle here. I'm going to just draw it at the side and this is gonna help me out visually. It might help you out visually also. A little right angle there, 16 centimeters, 12 centimeters, and we want to find this length here. I'm just gonna call it X for the time being. Now being a right angle triangle and three sides, we could use trigonometry, but even better is something even easier we could use, something simpler for this occasion is Pythagoras. You can use some simpler processes to be able to work out an overall complicated problem. So we've got the hypotenuse here, which is 16 centimeters. We'll write down the Pythagoras' theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm actually gonna call the hypotenuse c. I'm gonna call 12b and x, let's just call it a. Let's substitute those numbers in. So x squared plus 12 squared equals 16 squared. Now we need this in a format which we're gonna be able to calculate. So let's take away the 12 squared from both sides. So x squared equals 16 squared, take away 12 squared. Enter that into your calculator. And you'll end up with x squared equals 112. At this point, we need to square root both sides in order to find what x is. So x equals the square root of 112. Therefore, x equals 4 root 7. Now, I would leave this in this format alone. And the reason being is this is a very specific number. It's not rounded. It gives you a more accurate answer at the end. 
So I'm going to write this up here, so 4 root 7. And now we've got the vital side we need, we can move on to the next part of finding length CD. So we've now got a second triangle we want to work with, it's this one here. So I'm just going to redraw it out. So we've got this here, a little right angle, it's got 4 root 7, got an angle of 40 degrees, and we want to find this side, which I'm just going to call CD. Now firstly, we want to label each side. So we've got the hypotenuse, the opposite and the adjacent, and we need the hypotenuse and the opposite. So we've labeled the side now. The second step is using Sokotoa. So so ka toa Now we've got the hypotenuse and the opposite, therefore we're going to be using so. So we've dealt with Sokotoa, next we need to work it out. Well, we want to find the hypotenuse. So we're going to put hypotenuse equals, we'll cover that up, and what we're left with is the opposite over sine of the angle. Substitute the values into the equation. So side CD equals the opposite, which is 4 root 7, all over sine of the angle, so sine 40. Enter this into your calculator. and you'll get the value of CD equals 16.46423, etc, etc. And this actually says what we want to round it to. It says correct to three significant figures. So rounding it properly, CD equals 16.5 centimetres. Again, making sure you write those units as they're really important. You could lose marks out if you don't write them. If the paper gives you the units already, doesn't matter too much. Just make sure if they're not there, you've written them down. So let's just double check we've completed the question and answered it. It says calculate the length of CD, gives you answer to three significant figures. Have we done that? Yes, we've calculated the length of CD and got 16.5 centimetres. Big question, break it down and it's not too bad. That's all for finding sides and basic trigonometry covered. Any elements you want to of, feel free to check out my other videos. Stay safe and healthy and I'll see you next time.